good to see you alive and well. Yeah. <laughs> I decided to let Thepa borrow the pint for a little bit to get better at one wheeling. And this is me riding down the thing, jumping off, foot stays on, <laughs> and it flies right in the water. And look, look how fast it reacts. Took the jacket off right away. I'm like, Immediate I'm going in. Stripping of the clothes. He's going to stay the water. I think I have some traumas from the past because this is the second time I had to jump in the water. I love that you had that drone shot and you actually got it. <laughs> the funniest part is that you tried to save it with your foot, but that's actually what kept it going and made it fly off. Lesson learned. What's the lesson? Um, don't wash it in the lake. Don't fly a drone and one wheel at the same time, but at the on same a dock. Time, on a dock. But I'm glad that this was my defeat compared to all the other guys, you know, like Danny and everyone else. They ate cement. I ate the water, so. I can't believe it still works. He literally took this in the lake. Okay, it's time to test out my upgraded DJI FPV drone. I don't know if you saw the last video. We got this little like mount strap thing so we can put a GoPro on the DJI FPV. I'm sorry, DJ, if you're offended that I'm putting a GoPro on this thing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Rotor Riot made this for me. They're the best place for all things FPV. They've helped me out so much uh, in my FPV journey. And basically, it's just like a strap that mounts onto these uh, screw holes that are already here on this top cap of the DJI FPV. And then you can put your own action camera on top. Now, I think they're gonna be selling these, but I think they're gonna also move it a little bit forwards more, just to give you a little bit more angle so you're not getting the propellers as easily. But even right now, you're able to fly it and not get propellers in the shot. It's nice and secure on there. The question is, how much better is the GoPro than the built-in camera right here. Is it worth it to do something like this? And is this like, is this the best option for cinematic FPV right now? That's what I'm gonna try to find out. Man, you're on a roll. You never crashed that thing. Hey, don't jinx it. Don't jinx. <laughs> Luck is on our side. We didn't lose a one wheel today. <laughs> Nothing can happen anymore today. So the reason why I'm doing this, as soon as I flew this DJI FPV for the first time, I was like, oh, it's such a good drone. But the camera quality just, it's not quite as good. The GoPro looks much better. It's nice to have that wider perspective, especially when you're going close to things. It just looks like you're just flying by it. Plus, Real Steady. Have you used Real Steady that book? I saw you using it. And Real it looks... Steady, it's so good at stabilizing. Like it, it's the best stabilization ever. It uses the GoPro like gyro data, I believe, and it stabilizes, it looks so good. You can't use that on this. And it cuts out a lot of like the rotations and stuff that you're flying. So that's why I'm testing this out because I really do think that the DJI FPV is so convenient and easy to use. It's, even though I say this camera quality isn't that good, in terms of viewing it, seeing it in here, it's so crisp and so good, so much better. I didn't realize how much better it is than a classic FPV. Even with the HD DJI system, this is just so much better. So I'm kind of trying to get the best of both worlds, the ease of use with the DJI FPV, but also the quality with the GoPro right now. It's a hybrid. <laughs> We're trying to hack the system. <laughs> it looks so silly, doesn't it? <laughs> this is why DJI didn't do this. It's, it's like a little helmet. <laughs> It's like a little kid going to school for the first time. Or like a crown or something. Uh, on daddy's shoulders. <laughs> Let's go daddy! Locked and loaded. Let's go to the next spot.
have the new mind control chip oh, for drones. That's, that's how I fly. Another successful flight. What do you think? How much better is the footage? Well, I gotta say it's probably much better. <laughs> it's probably quite a bit better. But man, I love flying this drone, so I'm, I'm really hoping this footage looks real good. We'll see. Smokey smokes. This guy makes me go from riding at his office to now riding down these crazy pathways and trails. I'm not. I'm not good at this. It's not. It's not my world. Or is it? I'm getting better. How's the flight? It's going great. Yeah. Getting some sick stuff. Nice. You always know when he's focusing when his mouth opens up, and now it's closed. Is your dry mouth mouth dry too? Yeah. <laughs> it's like. So I want to ask you guys, how many of you guys are going to buy an FPV drone? Mate, what do you guess? How many people are going to buy FPV drones now? A lot. A lot. <laughs> they are getting pretty sick. I'm just itching to try the simulator, but I haven't got it working yet. I'm a fail. number three success. <sighs> success 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 you're racking up a lot of minutes let's go check this footage out at the office now sounds good uh, tomorrow tomorrow first yes. we sleep then we go and look at the footage yes we're not going tonight <laughs> after reviewing the footage i can say without a doubt the gopro is so much better in terms of video quality it's just so much nicer having that little bit wider frame of view that get that really dynamic movement along with real steady so smooth. This little camera here just isn't quite as good, but I do think this sort of setup to me is the best cinematic FPV setup you can have. All the ease of use. When you're watching through the goggles, it's so crisp and so clear. You get the home point, long battery life. It flies really well. And then you put this little guy on there and you got that really good video quality. The only issue is that this mount is a little bit too far back. So when you're flying a little bit slower, uh, you can't quite tilt it forward enough. And so it's kind of pointing at the sky too much. So if we could get the camera a little bit closer to the front here, I think that's gonna be super, super good. I'm just, I'm just like itching and aching Aching. I'm just waiting to get this out into like Norway or somewhere epic and go into like the mountains, do something really fun with it. Cause yeah, this is, it's just fun to fly. You gotta, you gotta experience it. It's so much fun. It's hard to explain it literally. It's pretty close. Okay. I, I, I don't know what it feels like to fly, but it's, it's the closest thing that, that I've ever had to knowing what it feels like to fly. You can just choose wherever you want and fly there. No, this is not a freestyle acrobatic crazy flip FPV drone. You're not gonna be doing any races with this thing. And it does have the the negative if you crash this, like there's no way I can repair any of this fanciness. So I'm just gonna have to buy a new one. But other than that, I do think this is the best cinematic FPV setup right now. Probably not the best FPV to learn with necessarily because you don't want to crash this. Ah, it's so hard to say, but I'm super pumped about this. I don't know about you guys. Did you like the footage? Let me know because maybe it's just me. <laughs> that boy, what are you going to learn? You always look like a boss too, flying FPV, right? That's why we do it, to look cool. In the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs>